guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video today I'm gonna whip up a wonderful remedy that you can use to get rid of your laugh lines now you can use this to also get rid of the fine lines and wrinkles around the mouth so if you're looking to get rid of wrinkles on the skin this video is for you so continue watching before we get into the video let us take a look and some of the reason why we tend to get this deep parentheses and also why we get mouth wrinkles deep lines around your mouth is called nasolabial folds they become more visible as we age that is because the ligaments around the mouth and chin loosen allowing fatty tissues in cheeks to sag fine and deep lines on the upper lips and around the mouth are called perioral wrinkles they are common wrinkles associated with aging and sun exposure and even genetics. Smoking also causes upper lips wrinkles, often referred to as smoker's lines. Now that that is out of the way, let's jump in the kitchen and make this wonderful facial mask. Our first ingredient is Fuller's Art and Now take a look at the Fuller's Earth up close. Fuller's Earth is a calcium based clay and it is used for oil absorbing. It is great for tightening and firming the skin. If you have large pores, Fuller's Earth will help to get the toxin out from the skin. It is just a wonderful clay to use on the skin for tightening and also for firming the skin. Our second ingredient is aloe vera gel if you have fresh aloe vera leaf go ahead and use that now aloe vera gel is known for helping to get rid of wrinkles on the skin it is also great for getting rid of patches black spot acne and it also helps to tighten and firm the skin our next ingredient is green tea and I'm going to be using tea bags. However, if you have loose leaves, go ahead and use that. Green tea is loaded with antioxidant and it is a wonderful ingredient to use to get rid of wrinkles on the skin. It will also help to nourish the skin, plump the skin up and it will have your skin just soft, supple and wrinkle free. In this recipe, I'm also going to be using some rose water and rose water also had a lot of benefit to the skin it helps to hydrate the skin it will sink deep into those pores and it will help to tighten those pores it will also leave your skin just soft glowing and refreshed our final ingredient is witch hazel and witch hazel is another wonderful product to use on the skin witch hazel along with the other ingredient is going to firm up the skin it's going to help that laugh line to diminish and it is also going to hydrate the skin leaving it just soft supple and glowing now when it comes on to fuller's earth it is best to use fuller's earth with water-based ingredient you do not want to use oil in the fuller's earth if you do it is not going to spread as you'd like it to so make sure everything you're using in the fuller's earth is water-based okay now to begin the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to brew the green tea so I'm just going to open my tea bag and I'm pouring it in a glass. Next, I'm going to add a quarter cup, which is 60 ml of hot water. And I'm just going to pour it over the green tea. Next, I'm going to set the green tea aside for about three minutes to brew. And while the green tea is brewing, let's go ahead and put the other ingredients together. Now Fuller's Earth is very absorbing so you really do not need a lot. You also need to make just enough to use one time because it's going to get dry if you put it down for a longer time. So I'm just using one tablespoon of our Fuller's Earth, one teaspoon of aloe vera gel. If you're using fresh aloe, go ahead and use one teaspoon of the gel also. A half a teaspoon of our rose water pour that in a half a teaspoon of the witch hazel 
And now we're moving on to our brewed green tea. You want to make sure that the green tea is cooled before you use it. So it's best to make the green tea a hour or so ahead so that it is totally cooled to add to the full dessert, okay? Now we're just going to make sure to mix the green tea as we're not going to strain this. We're going to use both the green tea leaves and the water. So we're going to start off by using two tablespoons of our green tea. So just scoop it out. And the reason why we're starting with two tablespoons is because the fuller's art is very absorbent. So it's probably will suck all of that up in no time. So now we're going to just mix this in, just blend. And if it look a little watery to start with, do not worry. And the fuller set is very tricky. It look watery now, but as soon as you leave it for a couple of hours, you're going to notice that it totally soak up all this water. Now the more you mix this solution is the thicker it's going to get because the fuller's earth is absorbing the liquid. Now if you think that you use too much of the liquid you could also tip an extra teaspoon of the fuller's earth in but don't be too hasty to put it in okay just make sure to watch and see what is happening first. And take a look you could see how nicely this is coming on it's really getting thick. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put this aside for about 30 minutes so that the full dessert could absorb the green tea, basically infuse the aloe vera and the green tea in the full dessert. So setting this aside for 30 minutes and then I'm going to come back and show you how to use this to get rid of your parentheses, your mouth wrinkles, your upper lips in no time. Now take a look at the facial mask. You can see how thick it is. It is totally infused with the green tea and the aloe vera. And now I'm going to apply it to the skin. So you want to take a little bit and you're going to apply it right in the laugh lines. And be generous with it, okay? So just apply it to the laugh lines. Upper mouth. Now this is also good to get rid of wrinkles on the forehead. So just play around with this mask, okay? I'm going all the way around. Now after applying the facial mask to the skin, what you're going to feel on the skin is a tightening sensation. As soon as the mask starting to dry, it's going to basically be grabbing your skin. So you're going to feel it tightening on the skin. Not to worry, that is okay. That is the facial mask working on the skin. Now after about 30 minutes or so, and as usual, if you could go longer with it, go ahead and wear it a bit longer. Then you're going to rinse it off with some warm water water once you rinse off you're gonna pat dry and you're gonna apply your favorite moisturizer your favorite oil blend your favorite anti-aging facial cream now you want to use this at least two to three times per week for best result now this is gonna dry if you leave it for a long time however you could make enough probably for two to three days but leave some of the green tea to pour in it whenever you're gonna use it it's gonna feel a little hard so just keep adding green tea to the mix okay now after using this for about a week or so, you definitely should see some result. You definitely should notice the fine lines and wrinkles slowly, slowly disappearing. And with continuous use, you will totally get rid of the fine lines and wrinkles. Also, just add a little bit of a facial massages to further speed up the process, okay? So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share the video, and leave your comments. And if this was the first time watching look below you're gonna see the word subscribe click on it and you will be subscribed thank you all and I'll see you in my next video bye bye